February 2021 is all wrapped up and I'm ready to share our family budget with you where I show our zero based budget and all of our real numbers. So stick around for our February 2021 budget report. Welcome to The Budget Bounce. If we haven't met yet, I'm Jen, and we talk all about living life on a budget, saving for a future, paying down our debt, and all the life that happens along the way on this channel. If that's something you're interested in, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to tap the bell so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Let's jump into our February 2021 budget report so that I can show you how everything played out. So here's our budget template and I use this every single month. It has evolved over time into what you see today. It didn't start out with all of the functionality that it has today, but I'm really pleased with it. And if this is something that you like and would, would like to consider doing for yourself for your own budget, I do sell this budget template out in my Etsy shop. I leave a link down below in the description on all my videos. Feel free to check it out over there. I sell it in both Google Sheets and uh, Microsoft Excel. So you can get it in either format, whatever works best for you. I also have a ton of debt and savings trackers out there if you are interested in that. So go ahead and go check it out when you get done watching this video. Now let's jump into our income. We'll start there because we need to know how much we're dealing with. So you can see I had um, a carryover from the previous month. We were negative in January. So I carried that over to, you know, make that adjustment for the month of February. You can see we have our regular salaries blacked out here. That is normal. We fill everything in over here and it carries over here. We had rental income of $600 that carried over here. Plus we had $1,504 that we pulled in from sinking funds, which was a little bit more than what we originally planned. And we didn't have any other income come in in February. That left our total income bucket at $11,803. And so that's what we had to work with throughout the month. In giving, we didn't have any giving at all. We didn't plan on any, we didn't do any. And then in housing, we had a little bit of an oops, we have recently bought a new home and we still have the mortgage on our first home. And so that amount has gone up to $2,550, rounding both of them up to the closest $10. So the problem is I was playing around with how I wanted to pay the mortgages and I didn't complete my thoughts before it caught up to me. So I ended up paying an extra $550 to our first mortgage on the first house. So we ended up paying $3,100 to mortgages this month, which was not in the plans at all. But it, once it was done, it was done. There was no going back. So anyway, the good news is the principal went down $550. The bad news is I had to make some changes elsewhere to adjust for that. In utilities, our gas and electric was 186. Our water garbage sewer is a quarterly bill that we pay um, every three months and February is the month we pay it. So it was 169. Our internet was only $56 because of a credit that we had from the month before. Our mobile services were 186 and that brought our total housing to $3,698, which was 487 more than what we originally planned. In transportation, we had $84 for gas, which is a lot less than what we planned. And it is by far the least we have paid for gas in uh, the entire time we've been budgeting. And that's because February was cold and snowy here, like sub-zero temps constantly and snow and ice everywhere. And we had no reason to go anywhere since Matt and I aren't working outside of the home right now. We both get to work from home. We weren't running out and doing any errands. We were staying put. It was cold and nasty here. And this is definitely reflected in this number. We had $21 for OnStar, which brought our total transportation to $105. And that was $165 under what we originally planned. In food, you can see that we went way over what we planned. So let's talk about that a little bit. In groceries, we spent $8.56 when we planned on $600. That is a result of me not taking inventory before I'm doing orders. I was just doing orders on a whim and what comes to mind and let me throw this in the cart and oh yeah, let's get some of that. And now I have extras of things in our pantry that we don't 
need extras of. And so anyhow, um, I knew when I did my January budget report that this might be an issue because I had continued to do it all the way through February and I didn't record my January budget report until the end of February. Sure enough, I was right. So we are 256 over here. Now the dining, the reason why this is a problem is because I could not access the kitchen for four days. And when that happened, we all managed to get by for breakfast, but lunch and dinner, we had to order in every day for four days for anywhere from three to five people, depending on who was here. So that is how we ended up so far over in dining. We actually had been doing pretty well in that because I have a brand new, beautiful kitchen that I love to cook in. And so this has not been an issue. And we were actually under in January for the first time in a really long time. But this month we blew it out of the water because for those, you know, for eight meals, we had to order in from somewhere else. So that's the reason why my kitchen was inaccessible is a story for another time, but it is a, it is continuing to drag on. Now I have access to my kitchen now, but we had a homeowner's claim and I will share on our insurance and I will share that in a totally different video. <laughs> so that you guys can get caught up on what's going on with that. So our total food that we spent was 1,164, which was 414 over what we planned. Kiddos, we didn't have any experience, experience, excuse me, any expenses at all. And I keep forgetting to change that. I'm just going to take off Henry for now. In pets, we plan on 75 for food and we spent 90, nothing for grooming. We had planned on 14 for meds, but we ended up paying 31 because we didn't realize until February that the January never, the January med never got charged to our credit card. So we had to pay for January and February both in the month of February. Other supplies, we planned on 60 and we spent 158. And then our total pets came to 281, which was over by 131. And insurance, you can see we had 868 for medical, 43 for dental, 102 for life, 62 for short-term disability, 33 for accident, 41 for critical illness, $60 for Matt's union dues, 47 for uh, mortgage disability, $6 for personal articles, $12 for identity theft, $18 for legal, and then we got a um, credit of $39 back from our auto insurance, and that brought the total to $1,256, which was under by 36, you know, pretty much a, a reflection of this uh, refund that we got from our auto insurance. But let's go back up to the top to the medical and the dental. I have been talking the last couple of months about how they just could not get Matt's deductions right in his check. And it wasn't until the last check in January that they finally got his deductions going again, but they didn't do any of the catch up. So what, what you're seeing here is we paid for two months of medical and dental during the month of February to get him caught up. And so as those deductions were not coming out of his check in December, January, I was actually setting that money aside so we would have it because I knew they were going to make us make them up. And these are not small. They're $217. It's like $227 or $8 per paycheck for these two things. So anyhow, finally, we are all caught up and back to normal. Thank goodness. So that's how we ended up so high uh, in insurance for February. In entertainment, we have streaming was $23, HP Inc. was three, still nothing for Cinemark. And so that brings our total to 26, which was right on target with what we planned. In health, flexible spending was 368, gym was 33, and healthcare was 19. Now, here's the thing about the flexible spending. This is another deduction. They have not been able to get their arms around. They finally got it started. They did just one of the regular deductions and they didn't do any catch up. So that's why it's so much less than what I thought it was going to be. It'll all be worked out starting in March. That is why we had such a difference. I was expecting to have to pay this $375 during the month. So our total health care expenses were under by $455. All right, in extras, you can see here we have several line items. We planned on $612 and we ended up spending twice as much as that. So let's talk about that for a minute. First of all, we have this line with the plumbers. So uh, $162 because our master bedroom 
toilet was leaking. So we had them come and look at it. And he replaced all of the inner parts of the tank and said, it's still leaking. And I, all I can tell you is I'm seeing some micro cracks in there. You're going to need to replace your toilet. Okay. So we planned on doing that over the weekend. That was on a Wednesday. We planned on getting the toilet over the weekend and he was going to come back and install it for us the following week. All right. Fast forward to Friday. <laughs> I come to bed and um, there's water all over the floor in the bathroom and in the bedroom. And so um, that is because those micro cracks like gave out. I mean, let me just tell you, this toilet has got to be 30 years old. Like it was there for a long time before we came along. And then we've been here two months and this happens. So what are the odds, right? Um, anyway, so that is why we have a homeowner's claim is because the toilet, the, the tank on the toilet broke and the water went everywhere and destroyed the flooring and destroyed the ceiling in the kitchen. So that's that line item. The next three line items are about $500 worth of security equipment and services. What ended up happening was we had a security incident. We had people at our door at 1.15 a.m. who would not go away. And um, Henry and I were up. Matt was upstairs sleeping with Bug and had been for several hours. Henry and I stayed up and binge watched a show. It was a, a Saturday night. They could see me in the living room, but they couldn't see Henry because he had just gone to the other end of the house to let the dog out that door. And I said, do not open that door because I don't know what's on the other side of it um, because somebody was knocking on our door. And I could see, you know, there was somebody knocking at the door that I couldn't see. And then there were two people standing at our sidewalk that I could see. I didn't know how many more were out there we didn't answer the door. <laughs> so that's a whole thing I can share in another, in another video, but needless to say, we didn't sleep well that night or the next night. And then the next night, it was like Monday night, early Tuesday morning. I think we had, um, we had a notification when we woke up on Tuesday morning that there had been movement at our front door again. So we had a ring video doorbell that came with the house when we bought it and we just had the free service. And if you have the free service, it will, if you get the notification at the time, you can look at it on your phone and see what's happening in the moment live, but it doesn't record anything. You have to pay for the service to be able to get the recording of any motion at, at your camera. Well, we woke up and I mean, obviously it's hours later, so there wasn't anything we could do about it. And I said, that's it. I, we have to, we have to get the service. We have to, I can't, I can't do this. I, I, th I was trying to get past it. I, I was traumatized back when I was in my twenties and this would have been, you know, 25 years ago. <laughs> I was traumatized and um, anything having to do with home invasion, I just, I'm just, I get so worked up so easily. Just talking about it has me all geeked right now. So not only did we get the service, but we also got additional doorbells and we bought the security system that has like a motion sensor and some contact sensors on it, plus another doorbell. So all three of our doors now will have a ring doorbell on them and yeah. So that's what that was. Totally not expected. We had zero plans to do anything with security. We we're like, oh, that ring doorbell out front's nice. That's, you know, like we've never had anything like that. This with the year long security uh, service came to almost $600. The next line item we had was taxes. So I filed taxes for two out of three of us. So that was 138. I had my hair and brows done. That was 52. This was covered by a sinking fund. Then we had 379 for the house. And I originally planned on 450. So this is just the, the continuing to settle in type of stuff. And so $1,226 is where we landed for the month, which was twice as much as where, uh, where we originally planned to be. So that's a lot more than I intended. We are lucky enough that we have the wiggle room to be able to do this when we need to do it. And same thing with the having the plumbers come in. I mean, yeah, $750 plus is what we spent on unexpected things during the month. So um, we're very blessed that we have that kind of leeway and um, do not take that for granted at all. In miscellaneous, neither Matt or I have been doing any spending at all. It's been wrapped, you know, into like we've been spending on dining and things like that for the whole family. So there haven't really been a reason 
for us to spend anything, honestly. And then in um, household, we spent 296 and in all other miscellaneous, 288. That brought the total to 584, which is 204 more than what we originally planned. And I'm remembering now that I put the ring service, the it was like $105 or something like that. I put that in one of these line items. So that's where that is. All right, in savings, we uh, did 194 to our emergency fund, $10 to investments, 75 to college savings, and 382 to retirement for a total of $662. We didn't spend anything out of any of our accounts and our um, ending balance for our emergency fund is $2,234. All right, here we are with our sinking funds. I will just run through these quickly. We did 230 to auto insurance, 26 to auto registrations, nothing for bugs account or business travel, $80 to city utilities, then nothing for clothing, entertainment, estate planning, gifts, healthcare, Henry, then 90 to the holidays, and then nothing for home maintenance or image cosmetics, 81 to life insurance, then nothing for one month ahead, online subscriptions, pet expense, the budget bounce, technology, or vacation, and then 123 to vehicles and nothing to wedding anniversary or to Xanthi's account. So this right here is how, it doesn't look like I have my formula there for some reason. This is how we made up some of that unexpected stuff. So you can he see here, it's like 460 or $70. Uh, that is how we did some of that was there. And then you can also see where we pulled out of our sinking funds to cover some things. So I have $50 came out from uh, business travel. The 169 was for our quarterly bill for city utilities, 50 out of clothing, 600 out of estate planning, 50 out of gifts, 150 out of healthcare, 50 out of Henry's account, 135 out of home maintenance, $50 out of image cosmetics, $50 out of technology, and 150 out of vacation for a total of $1,504. All of that was reflected in our income section at the very beginning when we started talking. And at the end of the month, we had $4,127 in our sinking funds. Next up is our debts. And we have so many debts that I have it broken down to subsections. So the first one you see here is our paid off section. This is all of the debts that are in the rear view forever gone. We never have to deal with them again. They're paid off in full and they total $32,161. There are 21 of them here and you'll see there's pink and black fonts and those are to differentiate between those that have Matt's name on them only, which are the black ones. And then the pink ones are anything that has my name on them. You can see here we've had a mix of both that have been paid off over time. The next section is the charged off section. And so this is $6,718 total. There are, I think, eight or nine accounts here. They are all mats and this was, this was at his request. The reason why I differentiate between them, it was at his request when we started this whole process three years ago, he wanted us to focus on the things that were in my name. I had a much better credit report and score than he did and he was trying to, uh, protect that as much as possible. And so that is why these things, they are long gone. They are no longer with the original creditors. So we will deal with these at some point, but we are just not dealing with them right now. Next up is our actively paying section and we have 169,153 remaining for that at the end of the month. And you can see here, we have a mix of, of different types of of debts that are listed here. So I'll just go through and show what we paid. So we paid 75 to care credit, 82 Gordman's card, 25 to a Capital One card, 190 to a Lowe's card, $50 to a uh, private student loan, nothing to child support because they could not get this squared away. We do have confirmation it's starting again in March. Thank goodness, because we are ready to get this going again. Then our HELOC is 200 a month, our car payment is 550, and our family loan is 250, and we're not having to pay anything on student loans right now. So total debt is 1,420 that was paid for the month. And if you go over here and look, you can see um, this is the interest column here, and we had to pay a couple hundred dollars in interest. 
But when you look at where we started, $177,074 was our debt at the beginning of the month. And at the end of the month, it was $175,872. So let's look at all of the totals. So this is the column we're working off of, our actual column. So our total expenses were $11,478 and our total income was $11,803. So that means we had $324 that was left over at the end of the month that we did not end up spending. Now, had these come out, we would have spent all of that and then some. I would have had to pull a little bit more out of the sinking funds. So this was a result of, I was thinking these were coming out and they did not. That's how we ended up with an overage. Coming over here to this section, we have our starting balance of $263,358 and our total debt killed off this month. Our total consumer debt killed off was $1,202, but it is representing what we paid off our, you know, what we paid towards debts and, and the interest that was accrued and all that good stuff. So at the end of the month, the total that we have paid to date is $87,485 gone forever from our debt, from our starting debt. So then I've got this little guy here. This little chart shows that we paid 43% of our income uh, was paid to debt this month. Now, I have two different kinds of debt and I did this for the first time in January, so I wanna talk a little bit about it. So this section down here is consumer debt and then I have what I consider to be separate mortgage debt. Mortgage debt to me is a completely different beast. And so I'm, I'm keeping that in the housing section as that is part of our housing costs. This 43% is representative of this number, 1,420, and whatever we paid towards the mortgage for the month, the mortgages, because we have two of them right now. I took the, the sum of that number and divided it by our regular salaries, and that's how we get to 43%. Now, this number here, 33.2%, I'm sorry for those labels popping up, 33.2%, that is the percent of starting debt paid off. So that is 33.2% of this $263,358 has been paid off. So this is fantastic news. The other thing I want to share with you guys is I created this chart down here about child support. And that's because I talked about this in the January report. I logged in in January to the child support site and noticed that their totals that they showed that we owed for each of the orders was a lot less than our totals. So you can see this 28,000 here and their totals were 12,000 and change. And I was like, um, I have no idea how that happened. And we didn't, we didn't want to hold our breaths that that was like, we were afraid maybe it was a mistake. Okay. So I talked about it in the January, 2021 budget report and a couple of viewers uh, went out and did some research. One of them, I believe she lives in Illinois and um, the other one, I, I don't know where she lives, but they both came back with links to articles or pages, websites that sh shared what happened. So the state of Illinois changed something effective January 1st, 2021. Thank you. You guys know who you are, who reached out and shared those links with me. I went to both of them and read through them. And so did Matt. And we've spent actually quite a bit of time since somebody threw us the information. Thank you. We really, really appreciate it. So we understand what happened. What we don't know is why it happened. Um, and I don't really know enough about it to explain it, but basically they changed how they're handling interest. They made a change and it ended up dropping a whole bunch of interest off of the accounts that we have. So it looks like this 12,770 is the real number. I, I still have not put it in, in the budget in March. Uh, I am filming this in March. I, I'm going to hold off a little bit longer so that I can take some time to do some digging here. But um, it looks like this may actually be our new total, which you can see is almost 15,600 less than what we have. So when I make that adjustment, that will be quite an adjustment to these numbers here. So this total paid to date is going to jump up. Our total remaining is going to go down and it's going to be like we're going to 
go well past a hundred thousand, like in one fell swoop. So, <laughs> um, it's still kind of mind blowing, but I'll, I'll address all that when the time comes. It's a blessing. It is absolutely a blessing. I don't know why it's happening, but, but we're just going to take it and go with it and we'll figure it out. If something changes later, then it changes. So that was our February and I'm talking all about those home expenses that I talked about or the house expenses that I had in the extra section right here in this playlist. All you need to do is click on it. It will take you to my playlist of everything about moving into our new home, buying it, all of that good stuff. Check it out and I'll meet you over there.